Good morning, YouTube friends. It's Travis again, and today I'm going to be hiking up to Mount LeConte uh, via the Alum Cave Trail. Uh, but before we get started, let me sh give you some directions on how to get here, and those are coming up right now. If you're driving from the Maryville Alcoa area, you'll pass through the city of Townsend, and then you'll come up to the Townsend Y. Uh, and at this point, if you were to bear to your right, that would take you back towards Cades Cove. Uh, but today, we're actually going to go to the left, which takes us towards the Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge area. here and uh, situated and we'll catch back up on the regular video here in just a minute all right so welcome back um, as I mentioned I'm gonna be hiking up to Mount LeConte which is the first time I've done this trail just wanted to show you real quick there is some leftover snow uh, from earlier in the week and then I did want to show you that the Mazda is back in business it's up and running again. I tried this hike last weekend and the serpentine belt went out. Actually, uh, one of my pulleys locked up and it burned up the uh, serpentine belt and I got stranded. So that's how I spent my Sunday. Uh, but it's up and running again. So here is the parking area. Uh, so there is quite a bit, but this trail does get very, very busy, uh, especially during peak season. And if you'll notice, the wooden fence that they've got up here along the edge, uh, and there's a lot of them down through here, the park service is starting to block off some of the parking on the sides of the road uh, in order to help uh, maintain the park itself. It's got, it's got so many visitors that are coming. Uh, they're trying to get specified parking spots here uh, to use and blocking off some of that other to keep the the volume of the trails down at any uh, given point so uh, if you drive up here you're going to see that but also remember there's not going to be as much parking uh, so you will need to come early uh, maybe during the week I'm up here on a Saturday morning I usually don't try to go on Saturdays just for the fact there's a lot more people um, but I'm the only one here so uh, Anyway, let's get started. I'll show you the um, entrance to the trail here. And let me go ahead and switch over to my chest mount so you can see this a little better. 
All right, so here we have, let's make sure this is gonna show up on the screen here, uh, Alum Cave Trail, uh, Mount LeConte, five miles. Um, and we're gonna try to hopefully go over to where the lodge is, which maybe adds another half mile. So it's gonna be around 11 miles uh, round trip. Uh, but anyway, just keep that in mind. This is a fairly significant um, hike. And just going across the bridge here. Definitely a pretty awesome view. So now, Mount LeConte is the third highest peak in the Smoky Mountains, uh, and it is the highest um, in, on just the Tennessee side. The other two, which Clingman Dome is the, the highest, um, it shares both the Tennessee and North Carolina side. Uh, there are also six different ways that you can hike into the trail or into Mount LeConte. So six different trails that converge there. Um, this one at Alum Cave is actually the shortest distance, but it is the steepest uh, climb. So just remember that. Uh, definitely you can get there faster going this way. But uh, we're going to hit some, uh, some inclines here before too long. Another little bridge here to cross over. And I have hiked this trail before uh, up to Alum Cave, but I had also hiked uh, up Chimney Tops that same morning and then came over here and did this one and I just didn't have enough energy to make it all the way up to Mount LeConte. So I do have a video um, just up here to going up to Alum Cave. But, uh, but this will be the first time that I've made it up to Mount Lacan itself. The, the another cool thing about this particular trail is, as you can see, and we'll come up here to another spot in just a minute, there is a lot of water uh, at the very beginning of this. So you don't have to go very far. I mean, you can walk up and you're by the stream uh, for the first part of this trail, which is always pretty cool. Lots of uh, good places to take photos and uh, just see the the scenery itself but as you can see lots of places that you can pull over and see the water I'm not gonna stop at all of these since it's kind of on my other video that I did for Alum Cave Trail but I did want at least in case you haven't seen that one give you an idea of what you know what you're getting into which is pretty awesome i have to admit this is one of my favorite trails that i've done i will say this though this is one of the more deceiving trails that i've done because as you can see the the terrain through here is not bad you've got plenty of water you know streams it's pretty flat really not a ton of uh incline yet but about a third of the way or half of the way halfway point getting up to alum cave the incline increases uh exponentially so just be prepared for that like if you just want to you know walk along the water here that's i mean it's fun it's pretty easy uh i think the climb up to alum cave itself wasn't that horrible um I did not go up to Mount LeConte, so, but I'm assuming that the rest of the grade on that's gonna be fairly steep as well. But uh, anyway, just keep that in mind when you're doing this trail, because it, uh, it will deceive you. You're gonna think this is gonna be an easy hike, and then all of a sudden, you're going straight up the mountain. Well, I said I wasn't gonna take a lot of shots of the water, but this one I've got to. This is pretty awesome here. So we're still down here next to the water. We haven't gone very far, 
But like I said, be prepared to see a change in this trail very soon. All right, here's one more shot of the water. I promise I'll try to not do any more. I know that's eating up a lot of the video itself, but I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. That's why I like to come up here. And I hope that if you decide to come up here that, I mean, you'll enjoy it as much as I do. I will say this, the last time I hiked it, it was back in the summer and fall time frame. And there were so many people on this trail, I had a hard time getting any video footage. Because I didn't want other people, you know, in the in the video without their consent. But uh, as of right now, I was the only vehicle in the parking lot. And I did see it looked like uh, a wet footprint on a rock back there that uh, I think uh, probably means somebody else is in front of me. I don't think that would have uh, remained there overnight but uh, they must have parked somewhere else or they may be up here camping so definitely not as many people up here on the trail and I'm breathing a little heavier because I'm trying to go as fast as I can while the trail is still relatively flat because when this incline hits it puts so much strain on my my heart and my cardio and my breathing so that I have to really slow down and pace myself so I'm trying to make up as much time here early on as I can because I know I'm gonna slow down to a snail's pace here before too long All right, I do remember this spot and I would recommend being very careful here because this is solid rock and as you can see from the rain that we've had recently and possibly snow earlier this week that uh, it is slick and you can slide very easily so be careful of that in the summer months it's not bad at all but right now it's really wet and then you get to go across one of these little wooden bridges which for some reason I'm fascinated with I don't know why But I am. I just think they're awesome. I know you're getting tired of seeing the views of the water, but I just love it. So I'm just wanting to share that with you. So you know what to expect if you decide to hike this trail. All right, and you've got another little bridge. This is one of the smaller ones. I think I like these even better. So a view going downstream. And a view of upstream. And it is winter time here, so this is February. So as you can see, there's not any leaves or anything on the trees. So I don't know, a lot of people tend to like hiking in the spring, summer, and fall. Uh, I actually enjoy it more in the, the winter time when it's cooler. Um, I've got better visibility. I mean, both are nice, don't get me wrong, but the cooler weather is easier for me to hike in. Um, summer times here can get really hot and humid and uh, makes it a little harder. But. Uh, Anyway, I know you'll probably see some other videos that people have filmed when the weather's a lot nicer. And it probably will look a lot better on, uh, on video. But uh, I don't know, there's just something about the wintertime. Not as many people, no insects, no humidity. Cooler, keeps your body temperature down. I don't know, I just enjoy it more. All right, so this is one of the coolest spots I think on this trail which I didn't even know the name of this when I first hiked it earlier this year or I guess last year now since we're in 2023 but uh this is Arch Rock so I didn't know the name of it and just to give you a shot upstream real quick and then a shot downstream 
and then we're on another one of these awesome bridges but anyway this is about a mile and a half into the trail and as you can see going up through here which is pretty cool This spot was so busy, I had a hard time even getting a picture of it because there were so many people. But but then it just goes on up the steps. Got a pretty good view here of the water again. And then this is what it looks like from the this side looking downward. So anyway, Arch Rock. Didn't know the name of it. You know it now. Pretty cool spot. So when you get to the top of these steps that we just came up, I've forgotten about this also. You're back on solid rock again. So again, in the summertime when it's dry, not so bad, but wintertime or after it's rain, it's pretty slick. So I'm trying to stay over here to the left, even though I'm a little closer to the edge. At least I'm on the, the dirt path. Now you can see they do have cable up here which I'm gonna actually use that because that's a little too close to the edge over here for me so you've got this cable to hang on to for safety which is awesome that they put that there and then just to kind of show you the view from where we're at so I would say this is the beginning of the the incline All right, and then not far from that, coming up on another one of these little bridges. And as you can see, there's uh, there may be two people in front of me based on these tracks. So they're not too far ahead of me. At least I'm not the only crazy person up here in February. There's the upstream shot. I don't know, just something about the water flowing down. Even though that's not a major waterfall, it's, it's still pretty awesome. I enjoy it. It's one of the reasons I'm up here. Hey, remember when I said that the incline was going to increase? Well, we're there. Whew. So, once you pass Arch Rock, it definitely increases. And of course, as I'm filming this, we get the one spot that levels out for just a minute to make me look like a fool. But uh, anyway, you can see the sun starting to come up over the mountain. It is 8.32. I started hiking around 7.50 this morning. Sunrise was at 7.28. But I was trying to get up here as quick as possible because I know uh, later in the day there'll be a lot more people on the trail I kind of enjoy being out here by myself but uh and it takes me gosh about an hour and a half to drive here so uh I mean I left about 6 15 or so this morning um so it takes a little little bit to get here so remember that, there is some drive involved, but it is an awesome trail. All right, we're coming up on another pretty cool spot that I remember. And I did not know the name of this place the first time I hiked up here last year, but I have since found out this is known as inspiration point so I'll show you here in just a second but let me kind of climb here I don't want to go too far but as you can see you have a pretty decent view of the area but the better view is right up here and 
and there you have it look at that inspiration point I mean I get where the name comes from because you can definitely get inspired by this view but not to ruin the moment or anything but I thought inspiration point was the name of the place where they went to make out on the old show uh, happy days I could be wrong yeah I know I ruined it I'm bad about that but anyway it's what came to mind so I thought I'd say it still an awesome view though and this is about two miles in so we've got we still got to get to alum cave and then on up to uh, Mount Leconte so we've got about three more miles but anyway if you can hike two miles you can make it to this point and uh, it's well worth it before I leave here let me get one more spot this one might be a little harder to get to probably been easier to come up that little trail like most human beings have done but a little higher work my way down here without hurting myself hopefully Pretty impressive. Definitely worth it. Uh, let's go right here and see what this is. Well, just to give you an idea here of how far we are up. Still got a ways to go. Alright, and then you're going to hit some of these steps. And I'm going to bypass them because for me, it is easier to go up the trail itself versus picking my legs up to climb these steps these aren't so bad because you don't have to pick your legs up as far but there are a ton of those on uh, chimney tops trail and that's a short trail but it's probably one of the hardest ones I've done just as far as the amount of pressure that it puts on my my breathing, my heart rate, and my leg muscles climbing up because you have to pick your foot up a lot higher to clear each one of those uh, steps. And it takes a toll on you fairly quickly. Oh, and this one is one of the trails. It's not a camera, but it's a trail counter. So they can keep track of the number of visitors on an annual basis kind of give them an idea of which of the trails here are the most popular and uh, I know this is one of them for sure but man it sure is nice that I'm out here by myself just kind of having the whole place to myself is pretty awesome all right I think we're maybe right here at uh, Alum Cave also known as Alum Cave Bluff yeah, this is it. I'm sure there's somebody else already up here. Assuming this was their final destination. But we'll see. I had a hard time getting any video of this last time because it was so crowded. So hopefully I can get a little better video and pictures. And as you can see, you gotta climb some steps. This is at about the 2.3 mile marker. I'm using the All Trails app on my phone. It lets you know where you're at, how long you've been walking, where you're going. Yeah, I got somebody else up here, but that's okay. bluff pretty awesome
All right, so give me a couple of shots here. We've got several people coming up, so I just want to turn around here real quick so you can see the area. And this is Alum Cave Bluff. I don't really consider it a cave. It is more of a bluff, but they didn't ask me when they named it. So we're going to head up here in just a second. All right, just to give you a little bit more of a view here. So I came up a little bit farther. There's the sign and the trail that goes up to Mount LeConte, but had a few people actually come through here, which has been pretty awesome. And then you can go up there a little bit farther on the, the bluff here, Alum K Bluff, but definitely an awesome view. And uh, we'll take a quick break here. Get something to drink and uh, we'll start on the on the trail here shortly anyway one last shot here of alum cave since there's nobody here and i've kind of got it by myself which is awesome there have been several others that have hiked up here uh Had a couple that have already went back down the trail, and there's two more in front of me going up to LeConte. But here we go. So as you come up, you can see the sign for it. Mount LeConte Summit, 2.7 miles. So we're almost at the halfway point. Definitely gonna hit some more solid rock as we make our way up to Mount LeConte. And they do have the cable here on the side to hang on to. Definitely the train gets a little harder and steeper, but that was to be expected. Well, a little bit of good news is that um, part of this trail does go downhill for a little bit uh, and then levels out, so that gives you a little bit of a break. But at some point, this has got to go back up again, I would assume. So I don't think that's going to last for too long, but it does kind of give you a chance to catch your breath. So definitely a welcome surprise that I was not expecting. Oh man, more steps. Not my favorite. Hopefully there's not a ton of these. I know it would seem like this would make the climb easier, but the fact that you have to lift your feet up higher in order to clear these actually wears on my legs much, much faster. Oh, hopefully that was the extent of it for a while. Yeah, looks that way. Well, the terrain on this hike is not getting any easier. Uh, it's pretty much been like this most of the time Very rocky Basically solid rock most of it um, Luckily they've got a another cable system here to hang on to but as you can tell this uh, Trail is not for the faint of heart I mean that's where we came from may not look that bad on the GoPro but it's giving me a run for the money just for the fact that uh, 
I mean, it's a pretty steep incline, which I knew it was going to be. But, uh, tell you what, as you get older, it makes these hikes a lot more difficult. So my advice is, if you're younger and you're considering hiking, go ahead and do it now. Because it only gets more difficult as the years go on. Well, as you can see, starting to hit a little bit more snow as I'm getting up here closer to the top. Still not much. This is left over from, I guess, earlier in the week or last weekend, whenever it snowed up here. But definitely starting to get a little cooler as we get up towards the top. Here's some more on the trail. And I had, uh, I had seen some feedback uh, from yesterday that uh, some people had turn, had to turn around at some point due to the snow and the ice on the trail. So I'm hoping some of that has melted off. But uh, this morning when I left the Maryville Alcoa area, it was 43 degrees. But when I checked the temperature for Mount Lacan is at 26. So temperature up here is definitely cooler. And I think they're calling for snow again tonight. Anywhere from like two to six inches up here in the higher elevations. Still a lot more of this rocky terrain. It's got the cable here to hang on to, but it's slippery and wet right now. So just be prepared for that. There's some runoff from the mountain. Definitely a lot harder terrain on this half of the trail than there was on the first half. Wanted to stop for a second and give you this view. Pretty high up on the mountain, but pretty spectacular. Understand the reviews yesterday when people said that they hit some ice and snow on the trail and decided to turn around. It's still passable so far. And I have had other people already come down the mountain, so I know they've made it up there. But as you can tell, there's definitely more snow as we go farther up. Here's one more shot of the mountains from a different angle. As you can see, the trail is still pretty, pretty rough, but definitely, definitely the uh, view is worth it. Well, I finally hit it's like a more wooded area, which is uh, kind of a nice change of pace. It's been primarily rocky can see some more snow still off in the background and it leveled out for a minute so this will give me a chance to catch my breath but you can tell the temperature is definitely cooler up here so I layered up got like four layers on and then plus my jacket and normally with the temperature being in the low to mid 40s when I started I would not have uh, worn this much but I knew that it was going to be close to 26 degrees when I got up here to the top and that uh, I might need it. So anyway, I've been sweating for most of the, the trail and uh, whoo, hit an icy spot there. So, uh, but now I'm starting to cool back down, which is good. So I'm glad I got the extra layers. So just remember, there's a chipmunk. Just remember that uh, before you hike, you know, check the temperature of where you're starting and where you're going to finish and the conditions because definitely going to be cooler up here. And there's rain moving in later this afternoon, which I think is going to change over to snow here at the higher elevation. So 
just be aware of that but this trail it doesn't look slick because it's rocky but these spots right here where it's got ice on it they are slick it kind of caught me off guard a couple times so I'll be paying attention to that a little closer as I go this must have been one of the areas impacted by the fire uh, a few years ago because a lot of these trees look like they're completely destroyed. You can see some of the newer trees down here starting to grow up, but these older ones were completely destroyed in the fire. So, let's see what this says. Leconte Lodge, point one that direction, this direction. Uh, so Bullhead Trail is that way and Cherokee Orchard is that way. So that must be one of the other ways you can come in. And then Alum Cave, which is where we just came from. And then the Arch Rock. And then Newfound Gap Road, which is where I parked at. So 4.9 miles. All right, so we're close. We're headed this way. All right, so I think the main trail goes up through here. This looks like maybe some of the cabins down here that you can stay at. It's a restroom area. cabins back through there picnic tables all right so I'm just making my way down through here and these steps here so it says lodge closed no visitor services caretakers present area under surveillance camping of, camping of any kind on these premises is strictly prohibited so I think they have a lottery each year that you can sign up for that you can come up here and get these cabins for a certain time um, but I just passed a gentleman he said that if I take these steps up to the top that um, this takes me back to the main trail again. So we'll do that. Just pretty neat here. So that is actually the Leconte Lodge. It says elevation 6,593 feet as of February the 11th, 2023. Try to get a shot of this here. The mountains in the background. Right, so, go all the way up the steps here. This should take us back up to the main trail. And here we are. Now, I need to go left. I'm gonna go right here to see what this says. Ooh, it's slicker than house not. All right, so cliff tops, point two. Huh. You know what? I hadn't expected to go this way, but while I'm up here, let's go check it out. Point two miles. Pretty much what the trail up here to Clifftops is looking like. 
kind of like a creek bed. Well, this point two miles to cliff top has presented more of a challenge than I expected because it's not really snow, it's ice that's packed down and it is slick. But we're almost here, I think. Oh. Let's go this direction. Kind of give you a view from here. Pretty good view. Let's see where this tells me. I just came back up from the lodge and let's see this little sign. Water that way, so that's good to know. Alright. Alum Cave Trail that way, Dullhead Trail, Cherokee Orchard, Mount Lacant Shelter, point two. Myrtle Point, that's where we're wanting to head. It's point seven. So let's go this direction. This must be the oh, water storage area, water facility. I would assume so. I don't know if that's like a, they can hook up to that pipe or if that's an overflow. So if I'd have come down that other trail from cliff tops, this is where this would have brought me. So that's good to know. So when you get up to the cliff tops, it circles around and comes to this point. I was leery to take that because I wasn't sure where it came out at. Definitely some more snow. And look at this is one of the shelters here. Water source, boil all water. So, they do have a KB, bleh, cable pulley system to put your food up so the bears can't get to it. And then, gotta be careful because it is icy right here. Ooh. And then, is where you can hang out it says do not cook or eat in sleeping area must have a reservation and a permit to stay here the use of tents is prohibited water is available at Lacant Lodge stand pipe during freezing weather use spring on Trillium Gap Trail fires are not permitted pack out everything you pack in must hang all unattended food from the storage cables and it says if you go to the bathroom, please bury it four to six inches deep away from the trail water and shelter. But it does give you a place to get up out of the weather through a sleeping bag and sleep. And I assume this is designed so that you've got, this is your long ways area. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 spots total. No fires due to unacceptable resource damage from past campfire use. $50 fine, so if you come up here, especially when it's cold, make sure you bring a warm sleeping bag, preferably a, a, a mummy bag or something like that that goes down to zero or even the negative temperatures. Not that you would need that much, but better safe than sorry. All right, it's spots like this that makes me want to rethink going over here to Myrtle Point. Because this is a solid sheet of ice. So if you're lucky, you might get to see me slip and fall on this. Woo. 
Haha. <laughs> Made it. Definitely a lot more snow in this part. Alright, so Myrtle Point, point two that way. That's the way we're gonna go. And this is let's see, the Boulevard Trail. So point seven back to the lodge. Appalachian Trail is four point six that way. Newfoundland Gap seven point three. But we're going to Myrtle's Point. Alright, I feel like I'm getting close here to the top of Myrtle Point. But it is slick. As you can see, probably gonna get my hiking poles out and use them on the way back down. I should have used them on the way up, but I was just too lazy to unpack them. But here we go. Gotta be getting close to the top here. At least I thought I was. Definitely a good view. Ooh. Got a little ways more to go. I may edit this out, but I may leave it in just so you can enjoy the hike up the last part of this trail with me. Oh man, look at that view. Holy cow. All right, <laughs> here we go. Come on, don't, don't slide. I mean, this is solid sheet of ice. I kept thinking that it would give with my weight like in the snow and I could get some traction but it sure isn't I mean look at that go up here a little farther uh, winds picking up a little bit definitely cooler up here and so, whew, here you have it. Like, from this view, I mean, this is gonna be tough to beat regardless of where you go. There you have it. Myrtle Point. So that was Mount LeConte from Alum Cave Trail. Um, went and all the way up into cliff tops and then here to Myrtle Point for the, the view. So I'm gonna have maybe six miles invested up here and another six back, so 12 round trip. Uh, gonna take me probably about six hours total uh, for the hike, um, but well worth it, highly recommended. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this hike and the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Um, also, if you don't care, if you'd hit subscribe, that way when I come out uh, with any new videos and publish them, you'll get a notification. 
uh, and I only put a video out about every other week, so I'm not going to flood you know your YouTube. But um, and also, if you've got any comments, anything I might have missed, or any additional information that you may know about the Mount Lacant area, uh, Alum Cave, uh, Myrtle Point, please put that in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I've been getting a lot of good feedback from some of my other videos, and I'm learning a lot in the in the process. So I appreciate that. Uh, but again, hope you enjoyed it, uh, and until next time, we'll see you then.